Hey friends, so today I am planning to plant some things in containers. I still have a bunch of containers lying around empty. And since I was so successful with my potato crop, I just want to take advantage of the small space that I have and fill it up with vegetables. So I still have plenty of cucumber seedlings left as well as bean seedlings. I wanted to plant some zucchini and squash but the slugs and other critters inside the soil ate up some of my seedlings so I had to replace them with my spares. So no zucchini in containers for me this year which was a bummer because I really wanted to try it. But uh, an extra variety of beans and an extra variety of cucumbers sounds really good right now. What I am planning to do is try out these inserts, these pot inserts that Tanya from Root Warrior was kind enough to send me. They look like this. And the idea behind them is that they allow better airflow at the root level, especially if you live in a rainy climate like mine. Well, sometimes this week it rained nonstop every single day and the ground is waterlogged but other times in the summertime it gets really dry so i don't know but overall i think this is a great idea because it's going to improve oxygen right down at the root level these inserts are probably too small for the pots that i have right here but i think they're the biggest ones that they have and they also sent me smaller ones you just read the instructions this goes great for eight inch plus in height containers so I'm gonna be planting maybe basil and whatnot in this size pots and they're gonna go inside and this one is gonna go in here for cucumbers and beans and I'm also gonna make I'm gonna do a makeshift trellis out of bamboo and see how that goes in the meantime there's also another trick that I wanted to show you. I have some cucumbers in here and not all my peas germinated this year. I wasn't very happy with my direct sowing for peas but if you can see in these empty patches I planted some cucumbers and as the peas produce and then die out because of the summer heat the cucumbers are just gonna climb right up there and I, don't, I really don't care if they climb on peas in fact they might even have better support so let's do this I'm, we're going to fill up these containers with soil and I'll take you along for the whole process so my plan is to fill these containers with a mixture of garden soil and manure 50-50 and if I don't, don't do anything about it, I'm going to have a lot of weeds. So I'm, we're just going to fill the containers about up here. And then I'm going to fill up the difference with some soil mix, some seed starter mix that will act as mulch. Basically, I have the same kind of soil mix here and I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't had any weed issues. So this is the compost that I was talking about. I'm just gonna use it as mulch. And it does have some nutrients for young seedlings, so even better. 20 minutes later and we are done with the trellis inside a container contraption. I'm gonna grow beans in these two pots. It's gonna be probably two bean plants per pole. And I'm gonna grow cucumbers in here and guide them up this makeshift cage. All I have to do now is transplant my seedlings. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go with market more cucumbers in one container and lemon something, lemon apple, which are these small yellow really fun cucumbers to grow in the other container. I actually grew them by accident one year and really enjoyed them. And contrary to popular belief, cucumbers are actually... Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Sorry, no tripod today. They're actually pretty safe to, to take apart 
and transplant so you can tease the roots you can uh, just gently pull them apart and there you go one cucumber and this is the way that I save a lot of space when starting my own seedlings so I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out this year especially since I didn't have a grow room and I had to do everything outside under a row cover basically cucumbers are in so every week or every few days I'm gonna come here the same with my squash I'm gonna come here and guide them all through these strings in fact let me show you my biggest cucumber plants yet I tried a new variety this year it's called telegraph they were sown at the same time and they are giant compared to the other varieties I have here like market more and cornichon really tiny it's a shaded area so I'm just hoping they'll recover but these guys they're gonna be in full Sun so I'm really happy about that and I'm also so so happy whenever I plant seedlings that have been growing for a while in this case they've been growing for over a month I'm gonna keep some spares just in case the slugs get to them but other than that we are good to go and I'm going to move on to my beans and lastly we have yard-long beans in here I've just transplanted them same thing I planted about three to four plants in one peat pot container you c they are sensitive to separation so i try not to mess with the roots so much so i plant them with a fragment of the peat container wherever the roots poke out i just leave it alone and don't touch that and over here we have painted lady beans i know these are very prolific and with the yard long i just wanted to try something new because in the previous years they didn't I don't think they ever got to grow. I probably got to them too late. And since I have these pots right here with the inserts, I'm gonna take advantage of that and probably transplant some basil, just thin it out from the pots that I already have it in. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks so much for following my gardening journey. Doesn't this look great? Well, at this level anyway, because at this level, our neighbors probably think we're crazy. <laughs> we're just by a pretty busy road. Oh, I got dirt all over my face. We're by a busy road behind us and there are buses passing by, really high ones. So they can see inside our garden and we have all these ugly poles and whatnot, but oh well. We're gonna do remodeling at some point, but we don't really care about that. What matters is that at the end of the the month at the, at the end of the season our freezers are packed and our bellies are full so thank you so much for following my gardening journey if you like this video if you found value in it please like it please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one happy gardening Bye.